Welcome to another special student edition of Leading Questions. I'm Julia Sidorenko, an associate at Weirfolds, and I'm joined by two of our returning articling students, Alfred Papushai and Emma Brown. Thanks for joining us, you guys. Having been stellar summer students last summer, they're here to shed some wisdom to our incoming summer students. So Alfred, I'll turn to you first. What is your top tip for succeeding as a summer law student? So when working with the lawyers at the law firm, you want to treat them like your client. So what does this entail? You want to have really good communication and things to consider are promptly responding to your email, your phone calls. Um, and you also want to keep them in the loop about your progress if it's, if it's a long assignment. Um, if you have no questions, just send them an email as a quick update, letting them know about your progress just so that they know you're working on the assignment. Yes. Definitely. I know lawyers sometimes worry if they're going to get something back on time. So they'll definitely appreciate the status update and you'll be, you'll be giving them a peace of mind. And then another aspect is that you also want to understand their needs. So make sure you understand the assignment. What is the purpose, deadlines, et cetera. And also the lawyer's preferences and also follow up and ask questions when something is unclear. Agreed. It's always better to ask the question than make an incorrect assumption and hand in something that the lawyer has to rework. And then you also want to pay attention to details. So avoid making careless mistakes and proofread your work. Pay attention to the grammar, details, file, file numbers, et cetera. And also correct your mistakes promptly. But if you do make a mistake, that's, that's totally okay. Lawyers are humans too. Um, just make sure you inform the lawyer of your error promptly. And then finally, you want to be respectful and professional. Uh, it goes without saying, but be respectful of their time and show up on time for a meeting, whether that's on Zoom or on a, in person or a phone call. And when taking an assignment, make sure you bring a notepad with you so that you can take notes. Um, if you're on a call with a real client, take notes and send them to the lawyers afterward so that they have a record of the discussion that they can refer to after. Call notes are extremely helpful. So always take notes, unless the lawyer specifically says you don't have to. We always think we'll remember what we said in a conversation, but the nature of our work is so fast paced and so notes are invaluable to keep track of everything. Great tips, Alfred, thank you. Emma, what's your top tip? So I think this one gets said a lot, but it's really important and so it's worth repeating. And that's that if you have the opportunity, it's really beneficial to try and do work from a variety of different areas of law, even if you think you already know what you're most interested in. Sometimes you'll be surprised by what you like, so it's important to keep an open mind. I agree. The practice of law is very different from law school. You may enjoy working in an area of law you didn't even know about while you were in law school. Yeah, I personally began my summer with the idea that long term, I wanted to practice in some type of corporate transactional field and that litigation wasn't for me at all. But one of my first assignments of the summer was drafting a statement of defense for a construction law dispute which is an area of law I was not aware of before beginning my summer. And I was really surprised by how much I liked the assignment and litigation work in general. So I ended up doing more work for that group over the summer. And I actually actively sought out some litigation work in other practice groups to get an idea of different areas. And so I think that just goes to show you don't know what you're going to like until you give it a chance. That's a very common experience, myself included. I started off in litigation and ended up in transactional work. I know many lawyers ended up working in practice areas that didn't intend to work in while they were in law school. Yeah, and so I think the other part of this is that if there are areas you're interested in exploring, you shouldn't be afraid to reach out to lawyers in those areas. Even if a lawyer doesn't currently have work um, that they can give to a student, they might, for example, invite you along to a client meeting or they'll keep you in mind and reach out when they do have work. That's a great tip. If there's something you wanna try but haven't, don't wait for the opportunity to come up. Make sure you express your interest to the lawyer directly to stay top of mind for the next time an assignment comes up. Thank you, Emma. And thanks everyone for joining us for our student edition of Leading Questions. And a special thanks to Alfred and Emma for sharing their tips with us. If you have any questions or topics you would like us to address in future episodes, please email us at leadingquestions at See you next time.